and we are back. And as you can tell, <laughs> it is Arsenal versus Brentford. Now, I know, I know, this is sort of a, well, this definitely is a revenge game. Um, if we all remember, we opened the season up against Brentford and we kind of lost 2-0. Not a pretty, it was not a pretty game. First game of the season. First game that Brentford was back in the Premier League for sem over 75 years. And Arsenal did not come... To, the Arsenal did not come to play that game. Um, well, Arsenal didn't come to play for the first three games. And that obviously put us in a dire situation. But, as you know, you bounce back and you fight. Now, Arsenal are currently in probably the best position we've been in in a very long time. To get that top four position, once again. We... Didn't play last weekend because Chelsea was away doing the Club World Championships. So that game has been delayed, as we know. Now, we if you saw last week, you have seen that Arsenal were put in a great position. We beat Wolves the week, in the midweek on the Thursday. Then Tottenham lost. West Ham drew. United drew. Obviously, United won midweek um, in the next game. But that helped Arsenal. We're two points off of West Ham and Man United for fourth place. We beat Brentford today. We can jump up to fourth place. But obviously, things have to happen in other games to help prevent that. Now, Arsenal are in a very tricky situation right now. We didn't spend in January. We let go. We let fourteen players leave the club. Let's put that. In, let's put that in perspective. We left fourteen players to leave the club. And didn't bring not one person in. So from reports that we have seen, it has that we have been told as fans not to worry because in the summer we will be spending big. We're rumored with a lot of strikers. We're also rumored with some midfielders, but they're all rumors. They are all rumors, and that's not going to help us today against Brentford at 3 p.m. It's not going to help us. So. <clears throat> Let's look at what potential lineup we could have. So, as you know, I love my formation. We have the we obviously have the same back four with the potential chance that Tomiyasu is back. Um, Tomiyasu. So this is the back four. I'm gonna get into the midfield and the striker in a sec, but let's start off with the back four. As usual, we have the usual suspects. We have Ramsdale in goal, Tyranny at left back. Gabriel and Ben White as our centre-backs and Tomiyasu coming back, taking his position at right-back. Now, that's that's fantastic. That I, I'm i very happy that he he's looks, looks like, he sounds like he's healthy, but we don't know what Arteta might do. He might even keep Cedric at the right-back position just to, you know, give Tomiyasu another week of rest and making sure that his ankle is fully, fully healed. <coughs> now, on to midfield. We love the pairing. We look... The pairing of Xhaka and Partey is always amazing. It's always amazing. It is. But Xhaka, in a sense, can't be trusted as much. But we don't have anyone else to play there. So, obviously, in central defensive midfields, we will have Partey and Xhaka holding that line. They play well together. They do play well together. So, I can't really argue with the statements that, you know, Xhaka, yes, Yaka is a walking disaster. We never know what's, what he's going to do. Sometimes he will have a fantastic game and then sometimes he'll get a red card. So, you know, it's all there for interpretation. We don't know what's going to happen. So we'll just leave that at that. Now, the attacking mid. Now, with this attacking mid, we obviously don't have Martinelli in the lineup because he has a one-game match suspension. Now, this is where it gets interesting because obviously Pepe has come back from the African Cup of Nations and Arteta says that he sees a difference in Pepe now. Pepe is playing with a smile. He is enjoying football. He is looking like Pepe from Lille. Now, what does he do? Now, Pepe can play on the right. Pepe can play on the left. smith Rowe can also play on the right. And he can play in the middle and the left. We have an interchangeable attacking mid section. With Martinelli being out, this is a chance for... Smith Rowe or Pepe to get that spot. Now, I know every Arsenal fan is probably going to be like, start Smith Rowe. That is what we have to do. We have to start the players that have been consistent. Now, I agree. 
the, with the statement, I do agree. We have to start players that have been consistent, that have always been working their hardest to get better for the club. Now, this is where it gets tricky. We're gonna, obviously, obviously, we can start Smith Rowe because Smith Rowe is probably a great changer. He is always on the ball. He's just like he's another version of Martin Lee, but I would rather it be Smith Rowe in the middle at ten with Odegaard at the back with Partey. But that's just me. Um, so yeah, it would be Pepe. It would be Smith Rowe. Sorry, Smith Rowe would be starting with Odegaard and Saka in attacking mid. With, of course, Lacazette leading the front line as our captain. But obviously, there will be a substitution about the 75th minute, 60, 69. Smith Rowe will come off. Smith Rowe, Odegaard will come off. And Pepe will come on. And Pepe, I'm hope, I'm looking for Pepe to do a masterclass today. And at least get one goal. Um, this is a game that we need to win. Again, it's all in our hands. The, the top four is in our hands we don't have anything else to play for we have two games in hand over man united and west ham so we need to win this game obviously we've got to play tottenham and chelsea again as our game in hands we got the, so it's again it is in our hands if we can beat tottenham in that game that game in hand game that's perfect that is absolutely fantastic because obviously that pushes our claim to that top four position champions league back once again but this game is this game look every to be fair every game is crucial from now until may 22nd we cannot afford to lose games in silly ways and our our team needs to be on point at all times if lacazette's not doing it when martinelli comes back from <clears throat> when Martinelli comes back from his suspension, we know that Martinelli has been, been been trained to play at the number nine position. So, is he going to play Martinelli in some games as a striker? Or would he be subbing Lacazette off, pushing Martinelli up front, and then obviously having maybe Pepe come on or Smith Rowe come on for the wings? <clears throat> hey, I've been shouting for this for over a year now. Give Martinelli his dues, because when he did play there, when Emery was our manager when he didn't want to play Lacazette or Aubameyang Martinelli came on as a substitute got into that number nine position and he scored goals he scored goals and for, for most the famous one that he scored against Chelsea that was a beautiful run fair enough he was from a corner but he was playing up front and he scored that goal really really well he was playing one of the two up front but he played really really well now going forward I would love to see something different. I would love to see a change of place. Lacazette and Nketiah are not going to be here in after the summer. So it makes sense to give Martinelli time up front and see how it works. Because to have the interchangeable attacking mid of Saka, Odegaard, um, Smith Rowe or Pepe up there with Martinelli up front who has a motor he has a motor like nobody's business. The guy is all over the place. He knows how to run. He runs. He doesn't give up on balls. He puts his heart in for the team. He puts his heart in for the badge. For this club here. He does everything that he can for this club. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But we cannot count Brentford out. We can't. We can't go into this game thinking, oh, we they've already won this game. Brentford has been a hard team for a lot of for everyone <clears throat> yes they're sitting 40, between I can't remember what the way they're sitting but they're, I think they're sitting like 14th or 15th so again they're not doing bad they are going to survive if they lose any more games then maybe they might drop into the regulation fight and Arsenal could help that situation happen today if we can force them you know we start off strong start off fast and we can win this game comfortably I'm hoping now ugh. It's hard to say. But my prediction for this game, I want us to look, <clears throat> we faced this tough Wolves Wolves team and then the Wolves team went and beat Tottenham. So, you know, defensively, I feel like we are very controlled. We're defending a lot better. Brentford haven't really scored as much goals in their last couple of games as well. 
But I am unsure if Ivan Tony is back today, so he might be able to give a bit of trouble. But I feel like Gabriel and Ben White will be able to handle that. They have been a fantastic pairing so far. Whenever they've played, they the defense looks secure. Ramsdale has been lights out. Definitely one of the best keepers in the league this year. And I don't. I want someone to tell me not that, that he hasn't been. If anyone could tell me that he hasn't been, then I will sit back and be like, okay, fair enough. Okay, that's cool. But I don't think that's the, that's the case. So, my prediction for this game, I'm going for a two, no. I'm going for a 3-1 victory to Arsenal. Um, I'm going to give you the goal scorers. <clears throat> I know this is going to be crazy, but he has he's missed a lot of chances. He's only scored three goals in the Premier League. But I think Arteta uh, Lacazette gets his first goal again after a very long goal drought. Smith Rowe comes on, scores a goal. And, well, so if Smith Rowe starts, Smith Rowe scores a goal. And crazy enough, I'm going to say Pepe comes on and actually scores a goal as well in this game. That makes it 3-1. And for just for Brentford, I will say Ivan Tony scores the goal. Who knows what's going to happen. But that is my prediction. Arsenal to win this game and hopefully West Ham United lose and Arsenal jumps to fourth spot. That's fantastic. It'll, even, it'll be even better because Man City faced Tottenham. So no one expects Tottenham to beat Man City. If they beat Man City, then wow, but unlikely. But again, hit me up in the comments, guys, on what you think of my lineup. I will go through the lineup again in a second. Uh, let me know what you think about the lineup. Let me know what your predictions are and let's see if you're correct. Let's join the conversation. Again, before I go in through the lineup, hit that subscribe button, you know, hit a bro help a brother out, hit that like button, leave a comment, you know, let's get there, let's get the chat talking. Let's see if anyone disagrees, agrees, you know, let's see what happens. And obviously come back for the review after the game later on tonight. Um, but again, let's go off with, the, with my lineup. We have Ramsdale in goal. We have Tyranny, Gabriel, Ben White and Tommy Yasu as the back four. We have Xhaka and Partey in midfield. And then we have Smith Rowe, Odegaard and Saka as our attacking mids with Lacazette leading the front line. Now, my prediction, 3-1 to Arsenal. Lacazette scoring a goal, Smith Rowe scoring a goal and Pepe coming off the bench to score another, uh, the third goal. It's going to be a wild game. It's definitely a game that we need to win. And you know what? Hey, it's Arsenal. Anything can happen. Anything's possible. And we all love this club. Every fan loves the club. And we can see what happens. Champions League is ours for the taking. We just need to not screw it up. Hey, there's only 16 games left in the Premier League for us anyway. Let's get it. Let's go. Because Arsenal can do this. What do we say when we come to the Emirates? It's always good to be a gunner. I hope you all love the video. Leave a like. Leave a hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button when I go like when I post another video, baby. If you haven't already, you will see two videos pop up here. If you want to see the latest one for Unheard Voice, we have the trailer coming out. We have the trailer out. And any other previous videos you can see on the other on the other side. Hope you all enjoy. I'll catch you later. And come on, you gunners!